All right, guys, just finished my uh, isometric deadlift superset with a speed deadlift session. Like doing the speed deadlifts, you're putting as much force into the moving the bar as fast as you can, you know, building that uh, force from the ground with heavier weights for heavier weights. And super net setting that with the isometric deadlifts, you're building up that max effort to pull through the pull through your sticking points on your max effort deadlifts. You want want to do that maybe every other week at the most, every three weeks, if you depends on how well you can recover from them. Then did bent over rows, building that you know upper back strength for everything, deadlifts, uh, stones, all the you know big pulling movements and strong man. Then did good mornings, worked that uh, lower back strength with glutes and hamstrings pulled in there all in one. That's good for you know, anything you're picking up. Deadlifts, uh, stones, and all that stuff. You know, did some pull-ups uh, against bands. Doing pull-ups against bands helps build that explosiveness in your lats. Helps uh, be, you know, pulling really big, explosive pulling movements. Five sets of three, kind of. I know I didn't give really my ch chin to the bar on some of those lifts, but I'm still working those lats, you know, in the movement. Like uh, we did uh, chest supported rows with some heavy dumbbells. Uh, I like to kind of change like those last uh, couple of movements. Like it's not always the same uh, back movement on deadlift days. You know, I'll do chest supported rows, like some uh, you know seated cable rows, maybe some lat pull downs to get extra lat workout in. But uh, the, but today we did uh, 113 pound dumbbells. To four, four sets of eight. You know, just give, doing chest supported rows gives your lower back a uh, break from you know, supporting yourself. Thanks for watching my video. Uh, if you want to watch the full video, go to officialshawman.com.